Hi kids. We again have a number pattern, right? So what is the first step to solve the number pattern? Yes, we have to find the differences between consecutive terms, right? So let's do that. So in order to find the difference, what will we do? We have to do second term minus first term. The second term here is 1 and first term is also 1, which is the difference between them is 0, right? And then we have to do 2, which is the third term, minus 1, which is the second term. The difference is 1, right? And now let's do fourth term minus third term. The difference is again 1. So till now, nothing can be concluded. The difference between first two term is 0 and third and second term is 1 and fourth and third term is also 1. Now let's find the difference between fifth and fourth term. So let's do it 5 minus 3. This is equal to 2, right? 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 and 13 minus 8 is equal to 5, right? Oh, what is here? See, if you see carefully, we are again getting, if we discard this first difference, we are again getting the same series. Isn't it? Yes. So as you can see here, the difference is actually following the same series. Right. So let's see these differences separately and check what our series can be. So if we see the first difference, this was term 1 and this was term 2, right? And both were equal. Why? Because their difference is 0. So from here we can see term 1 is equal to term 2 which is equal to 1, right? Both the terms are 1. And if we talk about the second difference, this was term 3 and this was term 2, right? This is the way we find the difference and we are getting difference as term 1. This was the very first term of the series, right? You can call term 2 also, but here also we are getting 1. Right? And then we concluded that this is also the same series. So the difference here is actually the term 1. Similarly, if we talk about this difference, this 3 was fourth term, then this was third term, and the difference was second term. Right? And if we talk about this 5 minus 3, is equal to 2. So this 5 is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth term. So term 5 minus term 4 is giving you third term. Isn't it? So from here we are getting term 3 minus term 2 is equal to term 1. And from here we are getting term 4 minus term 3 is equal to second term. And from here we are getting term 5 minus term 4 is equal to third term. Right? The same thing is happening here also. Here, 8 was 6th term minus term 5 is giving us 4th term, right? And in the last, we are getting 
13 which is actually the seventh term minus sixth term is actually giving us fifth term right so what can we say from here from here we can say that t3 is actually equal to t1 plus t2 right and from here we can say t4 is actually equal to t2 plus t3 isn't it and from here what can we say we can say that fifth term is equal to third term plus fourth term right and from here we can say that sixth term is equal to fourth term plus fifth term right similarly here seventh term is equal to fifth term plus sixth term right here first two terms are fixed both of them are one right and after that every term is actually the sum of its previous two terms right t3 is the sum of t1 and t2 t4 is the sum of t2 and t3 t5 is the sum of t3 and t4 right so how to write it in general form so the general form for this pattern will be t1 equal to t2 is equal to 1 right this is fixed and after that any term tn is equal to t n minus 1 its previous term plus t n minus 2 right isn't it so this is the general format for this series and this particular series has a name and it is called Fibonacci series